Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkle Zonky. So, I'm just starting a Glacor's trip here. I've been trying out Chaotic Staff because I've heard some pretty strong rumors that the Virtus Wand and Book are going to get nerfed even more. Um, so, what I've been hearing is that the ability Concentrated Blast is going to be severely nerfed. So, that's the one where you... Um, it's the basic ability that's basically almost as strong as like a asphyxiate but it's a basic ability and if you use it in tandem with um, sunshine or metamorphosis is pretty much almost as good as as asphyxiate which is a very very powerful threshold ability and it also has a very very you know short cooldown so you can use it constantly but anyway that ability is pretty much what made uh, Virtus one and book better than chaotic staff so if that's going away um, yeah, I, I guess I'm just kind of trying out Chaotic Staff and seeing if I can kill Glacier's just as fast. I gotta say, it's almost as fast. It's a little bit slower. It's maybe like four or five kills an hour slower because I did one trip last night. Um, but if Concentrated Blast is going away, then Virtus 1 and Book are also going to be, you know, a fair bit slower. But anyway, um, I guess it's over a minute in the video and I haven't even mentioned the topic. So... I'm going to talk about, um, just with this in the background, is the background footage, I'm going to talk about the legacy combat system, because Jagex said, um, you know, I don't even know why they bothered to have a vote, but they're like, they had a vote. Uh, it's in the voting tab, so if you just press F5, I can't do it in combat, but if you press F5 and you go to the voting tab, it'll be there, and it'll say, um, would you like the legacy combat system, which is basically the old pre-evolution of combat, um, combat system as an option to play in RuneScape. So they're not bringing it completely back or anything, but it would just be like, I guess, an option you flick on and all your abilities go away and uh, you can kill monsters the way you used to. And they'll probably have separate worlds just for that, I imagine, because it would be kind of weird um, if you if someone right next to you was using abilities on a, the same monster and you were not. I don't know how that would work. So I imagine they would probably have separate worlds for it and everything. But I guess I just wanted to talk about this some a little bit. I gotta say, uh, the whole anti-evolution of combat, anti-abilities, people, you know, begging for the old combat system back has probably been the most annoying thing the RuneScape community has ever done, at least in my opinion. I can't stand it personally, um, hearing people talk about it, because people that really love the old combat system, when they talk about it, it's just, there's so much hatred for the evolution of combat in their voice. Um, when they're talking, a lot of times they um, are people that haven't really tried out abilities, you know, they played Evolution of Combat for maybe like a day and then they quit because they couldn't figure it out and stuff like that. I gotta say, um, in my opinion, player versus monster, so killing bosses, is way better in the Evolution of Combat than it ever was pre-Evolution of Combat. And this is not someone who's just not talking from experience at all. Um, I did quite a bit of God Wars Dungeon pre-Evolution of Combat. I did a ton of DKs pre-Evolution of Combat. Like, I killed several, several thousand DKs. Um, I did quite a bit of Tormented Demons, you know, I killed about 500 Tormented Demons, something like that. Um, that's about it. I didn't do any, like, Corporal Beast or Nex pre-evolution of combat, but with those bosses alone, I had quite a bit of experience. Um, so I guess I had a fair amount of experience with Player vs. Monster before the evolution of combat came out. Um, and it was just kind of boring, because at least with DKs, which is the majority of what I did, uh, pre-evolution of combat, when I was... PVMing when I wasn't skilling, I was or slaying. I was mostly at DKs, um, and it was just kind of boring because the most variety that you had was like changing your prayers and moving to a different spot in the room, and then you just kind of waited for your players' auto attacks to kill the Dagonoth King. There was no strategy involved, um, really. Like once you got the basic strategy down, you just did the exact same thing for hours and hours and hours on end. And you can say it's kind of like that now. Um, it definitely is with Glacors, but with bot higher tiered bosses like Nex and Virago and Rise of the Six, um, there's definitely a lot more tactics involved and a lot more variety. Um, also, you know, Nex was out pre-evolution of combat. I never tried it myself, which is one of the biggest regrets of my life. I really wish I did Nex pre-evolution of combat, but the thing was, I really hated Dungeoneering pre-evolution of combat, so I never had, um, I never had a chaotic eagle eye kite shield whatever it was the dungeoneering shield that was pretty much required for next teams um and i never had a chaotic crossbow which was also required to do next um so that's the reason i never tried next i also never had rigor which most next teams also required so i just um i don't know i just couldn't stand engineering back then so i did not ever achieve 
uh, the you know gear required to go to next pre-evolution of combat, which is really a shame. But anyway, um, yeah, player versus monster in the EOC is just so much better. And I gotta say, for those of you that weren't super involved in the PVM community, pre-evolution of combat, so much more people PVM now than it used to be um, back then. Even though bosses like Bandos and Dagonoss Kings were pretty crowded, for the most part, people didn't really do other bosses a whole lot. Um, like if whenever I went down to Torment of Demons, I was usually the only person there. Maybe there would be one other person there. Um, even if you went to Glacier's pre-evolution of combat, maybe there would be one other person there. Um, but there was just a lot less people that PVM'd back then. Um, so the PVM community itself has just gone so far. So I did vote for the Legacy Combat System. I want it back in the game because I would like to have more players on the game. Um, but at the same time, I most likely will not be using it very much. If they make PK in the way that it used to be, um, I might try doing a few PK commentaries just because I only have ever done one PK commentary and I had a lot of fun when I did it, so I'd like to try something like that again. Um, but I definitely wouldn't be on the old combat system normally. Maybe I might try it out for Slayer every once in a while because I did sure love my Slayer way back in the day. Um, I still love it now, but I really loved it back then. Um, but anyway... A lot of people are also saying stuff like um, they need to make it good XP per hour. Um, I don't think that's very fair because training back then was so much easier than it is now. Now it's just an ability spam if you want to have the max experience per hour. So you really have to focus. You can't AFK. You can't leave your computer to go make food. I used to do that all the time during Slayer tasks. I could leave my computer, go make myself a sandwich, and I would still get be getting the maximum XP per hour. That's how crazy it was. Uh, you could do that while training combat, and nowadays you just can't. Um, because you have to be using abilities constantly to get the best experience per hour. But anyway, um, you know, if the old combat system is a lot slower XP, which it probably will be, if you're really into AFKing and you want to do your Slayer task and not have to pay attention to the screen, that's all well and good. But um, I really hope they don't have to stoop to the player's will too much where they really um, decide to make the old combat system just as fast experience as abilities are, because I don't think that's very fair. Um... And I guess the last thing I want to touch on that really bothers me more than anything else is players that say um, it's not fair if um, I'm doing the old combat system and someone that's doing abilities is getting better XP per hour than me or someone is killing bosses more efficiently and getting better drops than me. If you voted for the legacy combat system, chances are that you probably enjoyed the combat system a lot back then. And if you enjoy it, that's the only thing that you should really worry about. Uh, if other people are getting faster XP per hour than you or faster drops per hour than you, that do that really should not matter because this game is all about your own personal achievement and what you accomplish in the game. Um, and if you just don't worry about other people and what their progress is, that would help the game so much if people just had that mindset. Like, when I get drops, if people would not get jealous over it and just say, oh, that's great, maybe I should go PVM and get myself a drop. Or when people become really rich, other people don't get jealous about it and say, oh, I wish I was that rich. If you want to go become rich, go spend like a thousand hours killing bosses like I have. But anyway, that's, that's I guess, my small rant portion of the video. Um, don't worry about what other people are doing in the game. If you're having fun, then that's all you should worry about. If you're not having fun, then play the game in a way that you would like to have fun. Uh, don't play the game to get max experience if that's not what you enjoy. Don't worry about getting absolute max gear and doing the max boss kills per hour if you'd rather relax and AFK a little bit. Just don't worry about it. But yeah, that's about all for this video. Thanks for watching and farewell.